What is up, YouTube? It's Rules for Rebels here, and uh, I had a comment today. Uh, somebody asked, please tell me how to put affiliate ads in a single post. Um, and the video that they asked in this question in response to uh, was another video I created, which was titled, let me pull this up here. Uh, okay, so this video on the it was titled, How to Create uh, Affiliate Banner Ads and Post Them on Your Blog. So uh, I'm going to cut the video here so we can go to a, a screencast, and I'm going to show you guys how to insert... Uh, what we call hyperlinks into a post to turn plain text into a clickable word or clickable link, which you can then run an affiliate ad for. So I'll be back with you in just one second here. Okay, so really quickly here, I'm going to show you guys an example of a hyperlink. So here's a blog post uh, titled Hoverboard Parts, Where to Buy Them. You know, so where to buy your hoverboard parts, blah, blah, blah. You know, tells you what problems the hoverboards fix, blah, 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 blah. Um, and if we go down, uh, shoot, I lost my place. Um, okay, so we can see the word. You see how fixing an air pocket is in blue? And see how my cursor turns into basically a clickable link there when I go over it? However, these words, you know, it doesn't do that. Well, if I go down to gyroscope, again, it's blue, and it turns clickable. If I click the word gyroscope, it takes us to where you can buy a gyroscope on Amazon. Um, so let me... Uh, get into the back end of one of my uh, blogger profiles, which is Google Blogger. It's a free blogging platform. Um, things will be a little bit different whether you're using Blogger, Wix, Weebly, WordPress, etc. But overall, we're just going to look for the hyperlink symbol and put our hyperlink into there. So give me one second. I'll be right back with you. Now, this is a blog post that I already wrote. So everything's already written here. But, you know, essentially you're going to write your blog post and then you want to add an affiliate link into it. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So you know, this is a blog post about private labeling, how to choose, source, and launch your first private label product. Now, um, let's just say, for example, that I wanted to um, turn this into a hyperlink. Now, this is start Amazon PPP auto campaign, you know. Uh, but let's say, for example, that I would mentioned a product like, you know, here's a great book where you can uh, learn about how to private label, and I want to turn it into an affiliate link, right? So here's what I'm going to do. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys Amazon as an example. Um, again, all platforms will be a little bit different. If you watch some of my other videos, I've showed you guys how to create AliExpress affiliate links, etc. Amazon's really easy. So let's just search for private labeling book. So the Amazon sales formula. Here's a private labeling book, right? So we're going to click it. And up here, there's going to be a button called text. Now, like I said, every affiliate program is going to have a different way of creating text links. But we're going to click text. And we can either use a full link or a shortened link. We're just going to use a shortened link, so I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm then going to go over here, and remember we have, again, this is a blog post I already wrote, wrote on another topic, so it's not really applicable, the reason we're inserting a link. But we'll assume this says, start reading this great book on private labeling. We just go up here and click link, and on uh, sometimes instead of the word link, you'll see like a, an anchor or a chain button that refers to a link. Like I said, WordPress is going to have a different icon than Blogger is going to have a different uh, icon than like a Shopify blog, etc. But we're going to click that. Um, we're going to paste in that link that we just got from Amazon over here. We're going to go back and we can either choose to open this link in another window so that they stay on our page and it opens up a new, new window with a link. Or if we wanted just to revert them to the new page, we would uncheck this. But I like people to stay on my blog or stay on my website. So we're going to click open it in a new link. And then here you can choose whether you want to add a no follow attribute or not. Uh, there's do follow and don't follow links. Um, you know, this is more of a SEO thing. So it's up to you whether you want to add a no follow link or not. If you have a ton of outgoing links from your site, you may opt to not make everyone be a, a no follow. However, you do get some link juice. You do get some SEO juice from linking to uh, large, reputable external sites. So I don't mind giving somebody a, a do follow link. Um, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And I would click OK. And at this point, all I would do is if I were originally posting the blog, I would click post. In this case, it would just be updating it. Uh, but basically, when we went back to this article, um, actually, we'll preview it here. If we go down here, you see the term Amazon PPC. It won't let me click it because we're just previewing. But you see that's blue, and that, that becomes a clickable link. So now if somebody, you know, if I say start reading this great book about Amazon private labeling, and somebody clicks it to see what that book is, well, I now have a cookie on their computer, and if they go and buy that book, 
I'm going to get, you know, 4% or, you know, whatever the credit may be for that particular sale. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this because, you know, it's not really relevant to this post. So I just click remove and the link is removed. But again, if we want to add that link, we just highlight the words that we want to, uh, to basically be the link. We click link, we copy and paste it in there and we just click OK. Like, like I said, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to close out this post. But that is basically how we do that. So uh, let's see here. Um, Satya Durga Sekar, uh, that is how you add an affiliate, a text affiliate link into a single blog post. Uh, for any of you guys who are wondering um, how you add banner oh, ads onto your blog post, that's another thing. And let me, uh, let's see, hover over it. And when we talk about banner ads, this is a banner ad, this is a banner ad, you know, ads running down the sidebar, this ad, this ad, these are all banner ads. So it's a different method if you want to add banner ads. And I do have this video here, how to create affiliate banner ads and post them on your blog. So if anybody's interested in learning how to do that, I will link in the description box below to that video as well. But in this video, I wanted to touch on how to add a text link, a uh, text affiliate link into a single blog post. So hopefully this uh, video helps you guys out. Uh, I know this is kind of a basic concept to a lot of you guys, so um, you know, apologize if I bored anyone with this video, but I know when people are just getting started out affiliate marketing or just getting into affiliate marketing, uh, a lot of people talk about big picture stuff and driving traffic, and not a lot of people get into the, the little logistics and the little ins and outs of, well, how do I actually post a link in the first place? So I just wanted to make a quick video addressing that. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and check back for more videos. Guys, I've been on vacation for the past week, uh, but going to be coming at you with a lot of great content in the coming weeks here. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.